During the time of troubles, he participated in the struggle against the supporters of false Dmitry II and Polish invaders. In 1607, Kovinsky was sent to Mikhailov, which had been occupied by the opponents of Vasily IV of Russia, but his attacks on this city were rebuffed. In 1610, Kovinsky fought alongside Prince Mikhail Skopinchewski, who ordered him to combine forces with the Swedish army, occupy the southern part of the Tiber region, and prevent the enemy from regrouping. Kovinsky managed to rendezvous with the Swedes near Staritsa, capture Rajev, and beset Beli. Together with Minin, he commanded this army during its march from Yaroslavl to Rostov, while Pozersky was in Suzdal. In spring 1615, he was granted the title of Boyar and sent to the outskirts of Smolensk to command the inactive Russian army. Kovinsky did not take part in military action due to the beginning of peace talks. When the negotiations were interrupted, Kovinsky was put in charge of a unit, approximate. 